Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Satisfactory. We've got a lot of work to do. Down below, we can see one of our tractors moving along. I believe that's the one that's dropping off uh, reinforced iron plates. There is another tractor that we set up doing compacted coal. And that one was colliding with this one. They were kind of headbutting each other and not going anywhere. I rerouted that, but I don't see it. So I recorded a new route for the compacted coal, but I do not see that tractor anyway, anywhere. So we're going to have to go chase that down this episode. The other thing we want to do this episode is, uh, let's, I'm at the rod factory and I've started building modular frames. We're going to have four floors building modular frames. Uh, and we're going to, we're kind of scaling this up as if we had two overclocked impure iron mines. And we only have two regular impure iron mines. So we've got extra capacity here, but I need to do the last floor. Let's get this going. I believe, yeah, I have recipes here and I just need to route our goodies. So let's start doing it. Get on it. And then we, uh, once we get these modular frames built out on this floor, we'll route the modular frames up a floor, go through a storage array, and then bring them all the way down and route them into our third truck stop that we haven't connected to anything. And then we're going to take those modular frames over to the steel factory there. But in between, hmm, we'll see. In between, in between, in between, sometime soon, I think... I would like to go out on an excursion and just do some exploring. Maybe we could hunt hard drives. Maybe we could just go take out some enemies. But I think it'd be nice to take a break from the factory here soon. I'm just wondering, maybe we should get the versatile matrix. Um, get those crafting before we do that excursion. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh man, there's just always so much to do. So much to do. So much to do. All right. How do we want to do this guy? This belt needs to kind of make his way down the middle here eventually. See what we can do. And I should mention, it's been a few days I, since I played. I did, um, in between episodes, like I said, I fixed our tractor, or thought I did. And I started doing this work, and oh man, I was tired or something, but it just came out horrible and it would not have been fun to watch so i ended up pulling up some of the work i did but uh man it's not a game to play when you're tired we'll see if i have better success this time um i was playing with putting the splitters down first and i'm just man i'm struggling to get good at that especially in tight spaces like this so i'm gonna throw the belts down first and then do the splitters uh in fact maybe i'll do those right now and I know there's arguments kind of on both sides. I do like how these automatically orient the splitters in the right direction. When you put the belt down first. You hit the control key, these will line up. They will snap in. Pretty nice. The other thing I did between episodes, I installed the smart mod. It appears it is now compatible with update 7. But man, that thing was causing me some headaches. I did use it to close up some buildings um, because you can place foundations and walls and stuff in two dimensions which is pretty sweet and it's super super cool for that but uh, I need to kind of practice with it so I have it disabled right now for what we're doing all right let's get our conveyor support here for the next level up and see how we can get these up over there maybe We'll try and meet with that guy. We need to go up. With this belt. I think this is the rest of the reinforced iron plates that are going to come out of here, right? Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, that's not straight at all. <laughs> not straight at all. All right, let's move it. This guy. Maybe there. That doesn't look much better, does it? 
Uh, yeah, it does actually. That's just where we want it. Now we got to do this next turn. I'm sure there's an easy technique, but uh, I haven't mastered it yet. That's not apparent. Get these right angles. That turned out pretty good. Let's come down here and place a conveyor support. Here, one of you guys climb up. You over to you. Not sure why you're wiggling. Here we go. Where is the stairs in the middle? Okay. These are the ones that get tough to place, these uppers. And I was hoping that Smart Mod would help with that. And I need to practice on it because I could not get it to be very helpful. But see how the splitter is automatically oriented? It's, it's positioned the right direction. That I seem to have trouble with if I do the splitters first. And I don't even know how you would do the splitters first for this second level. But yeah, I've definitely gotten a lot of comments. People do like putting the splitters down first because you don't run into problems with the... The belt's not lining up, especially in tight spaces, right? Those belts on the first level. It's just like two or three pixels off. It's not going to... The belts aren't going to connect. All right. That's that. Speaking of belts, let's see if we run into problems. Doing these. Oh, the same thing with the loaders. Some people comment on using... Not loaders. I call them loaders, but the conveyor lifts here to connect the machines. I actually like the slanted belt and seeing the products go down that way. I think that looks kind of cool. I do like conveyor lifts. We'll use plenty of them, but I don't like hooking up machines to them too much. Just personal preference. All right. How much more? This is going pretty smooth. Way smoother than last time I tried to record. I got to tell you, so tired. It was just not working. Yeah, and I did the first three floors of this. I figured we don't need to watch. We do the same thing several, several times. All right. That's that. Output belts. Output's a little goofy. I'm not super proud of the design here, but let's take a peek down below. We're taking output from the three lower floors, right? So that's coming up on conveyor lifts. Then I have to merge that with output from the current floor. So here's, there's two flowers underneath the floor that we're looking at through this hole. So there's the modular frames coming in, into a merger. And then the output of that merger comes up and feeds our floor. We need to do the same thing because the next floor ups are going to be our storage array. And then the belts, Feeding the merger are just have one belt for one set of assemblers and another belt from the others. It's kind of bulky and chunky. I'm not super crazy about it, but we're going to go with it. The, we just need a merger on the middle of this foundation and then everything else will kind of fall into place here. Merger and we need it to face just the way it is. Bear lift. And this is the output from the three lower floors. You go into there and we need to turn on the flashlight, grab a port, oink. And then this is the part I don't kind of like the way it looks, but we'll do it. Maybe I can come up with something a little better for future factories, but this will do. We meet our needs. Okay, now we need to route outputs. One of the things I don't like is how this belt ends up. Not crazy about it, but we'll get it done. Uh, that I don't know why I did. Don't need it. What I kind of want is this guy. Let's see if I can get this turn first. Okay, that worked out good. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully I won't fall off. Get this to line up with that. I think we're right in the middle. Not in the middle of the foundation, but I think we're right. I think we're lined up. Let's see. That'll do. Mergers this time. Mistake I make over here is putting splitters down. Okay, control key. See how it's locked? That's kind of nice. Some, but see how it's not locked here? I have no idea why sometimes that works. I'm holding down control. Sometimes it snaps in nice. Other times it does not. And I don't know why. Yeah, I have no idea why sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, last one for here. Belt these up. Be good to go. Do the other side and we'll be done with belts and splitters for a while. Okay, let me just check these real quick. Okay, that guy is shipping product. This guy is working. Okay, looks like it's working. And that one looks like it's working. Is this crooked? It is. Fix this belt. Might be able to keep that section there. Uh, probably not, huh? Nope. It's going to throw things off. Yeah, and our output's going to seem a lot slower just because we're double capacity. We're built for double double the, the inputs that we're actually getting. Although it looks like uh, we're doing pretty good. The manifold design, so maybe the inputs aren't all making it. What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Now I see product shipping into everybody. Looks like we're okay. Not gonna be totally symmetrical. I'm gonna come down the middle of the platforms this way. Wow. Yeah, you saw the green line, right? It's uh, not lined up at all. Need same thing with this one. What is going on? None of these are lined up. Oh, man. That one's straight. Looks good. Let's try that again. Merger. I'm lined up with the green line. Trying to get in the middle here when I place these. Boom. Okay, this one. Look better. I'm just going to check here. These produce fairly slow.
Okay. This looks to be working. Love to see these belts filled up. Let's check the other side. Uh, I can take off this little bit of extra. A little bit of extra up there too. No one's going to see it. Yeah, just make sure these are all full or filling. Yeah, they're all getting supply. This bugs the heck out of me. See how this belt is empty? And this merger has a bunch of stuff going in. It's just like a graphical glitch. It's weird. If I take things off the belt here, let's see. Maybe down here. If I take things off the belt. Look at that magically modular frames up here that is a bit of a nightmare and caused me about 20 minutes of debugging something that wasn't a problem with my factory setup uh several episodes ago anyway enough of my griping let's go up this is going to be our storage array there's our product i guess we'll maybe zigzag a bunch of industrial storage containers I need to figure out where the output's going to be. Let's go look at the truck stations. I think it's here. I think this is meant to be my path back downstairs. Let's uh, let's go double check it. Any tractors? Yeah, we got to go track down our um, compacted coal tractor after this. I think that's their same I think that's our same belt going down. And I'm guessing that lines up with our third truck station, but we'll find out. Here's the explorer. Oh man, look at this belt work. Uh let's see. This is meant to be the incoming Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Incoming reinforced plates. We got plenty. There's our compacted coal. That's coming from the third truck station. It's routed down here to feed this one. And then routed through here, boom, over and down to feed this station. That's our reinforced plates making their way to where they need to go up. And then this is a little, well, I guess that's straight. This is our modular frame outputs. Also has the compacted coal coming in. And there's some modular frames. We need to connect this belt up. The modular frames that are in here are just from temporary setup before I was going to before I decided to go with the storage array up on the top floor so I want to look one more thing before we go up and do the storage array hey there's a tractor heading out yeah that goes all the way up that's the one we want that's the one we want it's about the fourth foundation in all right back up the stairs uh let's um Put on our little jumpy feet here. Move a little faster. Frames. Frames. This one we need to... Not there, apparently. Not in the center. It's off to the side a little bit. And this one is really going down. Looking for my arrows. Okay, that is down, I suppose. Why does that look like that? 
What the heck was that? This is down. All right. Oh, check us out. We need to extend this floor out. Do it. Oh, yeah, I was messing with my Zoop, too. The um, smart mod. Uh, what's the issue here? Missing iron plates. Say it isn't so. Uh, we're, let's take a look at our inventory. Can I craft some up here? Out of iron plates. That's not inventory. Can. This is a little pathetic. We're going to do it. <laughs> I don't have iron plates. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some supply. And then uh, we'll get to building that storage array. Be right back. Oh, we're back. Actually have some iron plates in storage in the Explorer. Save the day. Let's see. Do I have... Yeah, I got plenty of concrete. That worked out pretty nice. Let's head back up. Uh, we were extending the platforms. One more foundation out. That one's hooked up. We gotta go up. Uh, was it here? Nope, that one's hooked up, so we're good. It was here. We managed to get most of this floor built. Okay. Where are you? You're here. All right, finally. Let's get up and do the storage array. Hopefully I have enough materials for that. We know we need to extend this platform out as well, so let's do it. That is going to be weird. Our supply. Hmm. Oh, man. That's going to drive me crazy. I see. I see. I see. I see what happened here. Let's, um, let's hop down. We need to move this, um, belt over one. Fine. Not a big deal, actually. You go. I thought this looked a little short compared to the one below it. You are what? You're middle. I think that's that. Yeah, that's that. Taking care of. All right, now things are looking the way they should. That's gonna be our input belt. Modular frames, how many do we need? I don't know. I'm gonna build a bunch of storage for this. Part of the reason why I'm building these storages is it takes me a long time to build stuff. And while I'm building other things, we may as well just store up a bunch of these parts, right? It's infinite. Oh, I'm not going to work like this. It's infinite resources. I may not need to scale up the factory just by virtue of the fact that I've got these huge inventories filling up over time. 
but we need to alternate this and we need to make sure I don't fall off the ground here the edge all right there's a few storages that should do us pretty good let's see if I can get these belted up and we'll find out if I've placed these wrong or not Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a trick. Alright, in you go. And all I need to do now is route the outs to the ins. We could do them both, I suppose. The upper and the lower, maybe that just increases our throughput. Now we'll need it. Okay, these same thing. I'm going to come down here for this. Uh, how does this work? Came in. Yeah, I guess just like this. that no belt clipping nice i like it all right last side and then we'll just route them down and we'll be done here might as well build the storage array why not could have extended it even further okay now we're just kind of limited All right, mission accomplished. The fact that we're getting uh, modular frames tells me everything is connected correctly. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll double check the truck station, make sure it's getting a bunch. I think we're gonna be in good shape. Have to take a little damage here and we'll take the express elevator. Here they come. Perfect, oh man. I like it. Yep. All right. Good. Uh, just out of curiosity, let's look at the compacted coal truck station and see if it's got a full inventory or not. It does not. So our truck, our tractor is stuck. Let's go see if we can find it. This is a route that I re-recorded between episodes, but maybe I, um, maybe I deleted that save. Let's hop in the Explorer. I'll show you where the problem was. And I'll close this factory up someday. Yeah, I don't even see the path. Ah, uh, well, I do, do. This over here is the path for the, um, the compacted coal. These little arrows I'm driving over right now. Let's follow this back. This is the new path I did not record on camera. Oh, I'm out of fuel. I can't even hit the brakes when I'm out of fuel. It's just kind of odd. I got a coast to a stop here. Yeah, let's follow these arrows. We should find a tractor at the end of this path. <laughs> I do have a I do have a drop off here. I need to put a ramp in. I'm not gonna do it right this second. Spawn these arrows.
okay, you can see it goes down and kind of loops around, picks up the compacted coal, but still don't see our tractor. It might be stuck somewhere, so I'm just going to follow this path. sure which one's which. I think it's this one underneath the steel plant, right? We didn't route this way originally, so it might be back here. idea we had two tractors one just disappeared wow oh there it is what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you not have fuel? Let's see. What? You saw what I did? I just hopped in and hopped out. Hmm. Hmm. Not super happy about that. We were just here, right? When we checked the supply, was it literally sitting there? Oh well. That's back in action. So we're good to go with that. Alright. And I have some, I gotta improve this route a little bit. I don't like the way things clip. See how the explorer wheels are hopping all over like crazy? I'm nervous about the trucks or the tractors. I want them to work. But yeah, this is where, over here I think is where they were colliding. I had them both kind of pathing through this way, both directions. Trying to keep the paths from colliding. They still do cross over each other in at least one or two places. Hopefully that won't be an issue. All right, let's see. I think what we need to do next, I, think we sh I really think we should get the versatile frameworks done. If we hop out of here, and what was it? In versatile framework. You can see we need modular frames. We just got done making. And steel beams, which we're making right here at the steel plant. Lots of steel beams. Six to one. Six steel beams for every versatile matrix. But the um, modular frames, not bad, actually. So we want to set up this factory. It's actually not going to be too bad to do. We just need truck stations, at least two, one to bring in the modular frames, one to bring in compacted coal to keep the modular frame truck station fueled, make it a refueling stop. Again, I'm going overkill on the refueling just so I don't have to worry about it later in case we expand the truck routes to do go further distances. Um, and then maybe a third truck station to export versatile frameworks. We'll have to see how these are used. I don't know. Will this show me? No. Where these are used. I can look on the wiki and see how many of these we need and if they're a building part for something else. We definitely need them for the space elevator. We could do truck stops to bring things to the space elevator, but it's only 500 or a few thousand is probably not worth it. I guess it depends what the stack size is on these two. Um, yeah, let's next episode, we'll get working on this. We'll need to bring those modular frames over. We need to record another, um, another route for a tractor to bring them over here. And then we need three truck stations. 
tempted to move these belts up too. Right now, here's a place I actually wouldn't mind using a lifter to bring this all the way up to the ceiling. And then we could use those ceiling mounts to get these belts a little bit more up out of our way. Yeah, this one belt in particular looks like it's the main, the main one. Even this coal belt coming in could be lifted earlier, I suppose. Keep this area under, under the factory clear. This is a temporary assembler I put here just to build steel encased industrial beams. I think I have a bunch of these now. I have enough. That's coming too. We need to do production of that in this factory. I think I can pull this up though. That was meant to be temporary. Uh, I've got rocks I can blow up. We've got uneven terrain. And right now I'm just kind of scoping out could we put truck stations down here? I think we can. We have a copper deposit we're not making use of here too. And we're going to have truck stations for the copper factory here as well. Need to paint the reinforced plate factory and make this look better. Oh man, lots to do. This is just covering up a big pit that I don't want to fall into. Yeah, truck stations. That's our compacted coal, the blue arrows there. That's the route. We could hide those arrows, but I'm going to leave them for now. Yeah, next episode, we will get working on this. I think in between episodes, I'm going to try to move this belt up, up somehow. It can snake around and move down. And we'll probably, yeah, we'll see. We may even have like another little floor come down. Although this guy's pretty close to the ceiling as it is. Oh yeah, we didn't even plug this in yet. Limestone. This is just a placeholder. We're going to need limestone for those um, encased beams that we just saw, industrial encased beams. That's going to be added to this factory. This steel factory is going to be pretty huge. We're doing a lot of stuff here. Um, in fact, we may have multiple, multiple truck stations, come to think of it. We could run them in a line this way, kind of off to my left have a row of truck stations maybe right up until this point so the high high point would be here just uh, I'm gonna play around with this for a little bit here on camera I'm gonna see where our floor would be and then is there room for a truck station to sit on top of this all right I'm gonna hit control so that should be the global grid I thought I was doing that all the time, but I ran into two buildings that would not connect. I think it's these two. Just temporarily placing a truck station here. I'm just experimenting right here at the end of the episode. Let's do... Are you going to fit in there nice? Almost need, almost need to do the fly mode just to place some of the stuff. Be nice for the jetpack with standard equipment. Just the machines are so big. Yes, that's going to be fine. What I'm thinking of doing, we'll extend this platform out and I'll push this truck station as far as I can. It'll probably go there. I need a way for the trucks to get out. Yeah, it'll be, in fact, let's just put this down. Boom. Oh yeah, that's a little deceiving here. Man, that's not enough room. I can only get one truck station in here. Maybe two if I move this guy. Let's see if I can fit two in here. Okay. See, the problem is going to be my explorers in the way. Right 
route the coal, route the uh, limestone any way I want. So we can have two on this side, right? So you come into the steel plant underneath. We could even have truck stations out here if we want. I can move these stairs. That might be a thing too we could do. But kind of come in, drive in, drop off your modular frames. Come in. Drop off your compacted coal and be on your way. You're still going to cross over pass. We'll have to see. Hopefully the trucking won't get stuck all the time. Um, I don't want to have to get too complicated with the roads and overpasses and things and making sure that the paths never, ever cross. That would be a little bit of a drag. And then I'm thinking we'll have room for more truck stations on this other side. If I move that belt up. In fact, we could even leverage the, hmm, leverage the path out. Meaning we could have more real close if we want. We could do something like this. Right? Same as before. I'll move them over a little bit. But you come in, drop off your modular frames, or you come in, drop off your compacted coal, and out you go. Or you come in and... Um, what would you drop off? You would come in to pick up versatile frameworks, potentially, here. Oh, but you can't continue through. Otherwise, you're going to get... This guy's going to unload onto you. Yeah, so we cannot cross pass this way. You could say, oh, you want to pick up versatile frameworks? You're going to come in the same road and pick up your versatile frameworks here under this truck station. And then find your way out, maybe. Something like that. Or they could just come in here, pick up your versatile frameworks, and then go out this way. We'll see. That's all stuff we got to plan out. Um, and again, I don't know if we're even going to be shipping out the versatile frameworks. But like I said, we're going to be making in, in paste industrial beams here as well. Those may need to be shipped out. I'm guessing we're going to ship out something from the steel factory, but we'll see. Maybe we'll just start with those two for now and get this wired up. Yeah, that's a little bit of planning. Uh, between episodes, like I said, I'm gonna move this belt up somehow. Maybe I'll move the splitter and um, actually maybe move the splitter over here, route up on this side and just boom, go through. Anyway. That should be done before we start next episode, and then we'll um, we'll start building the modular frameworks, bringing the or bringing the modular frames over here, getting two new truck routes going, or modifying our compacted coal route, and adding a new route for to bring modular frames over. Then we'll build versatile frameworks up on the top floor. Maybe, yeah, probably a storage array for those somewhere. These are huge floors, so maybe we can just do a storage array right on the same floor that we're doing the assembly of the versatile frameworks. There's not a lot of construction to do with these, right? Let's take a look one more time. Yeah, it's just assemblers. Uh, we'll see how many we do. Because we're importing from trucks, it starts getting a little wonky to figure out our ratios. But or how many actual assemblers we'll have, but we'll overbuild it a bit. But yeah, that's it for now. This is Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on Satisfactory. Thanks to those of you that have given the videos a thumbs up and providing different suggestions. I really appreciate that. I read every comment. And I will see you all in the next episode.